everybody ready to try your burgers? Emu burgers! Look at those silly emus. Hey y'all, we are working on some cheeseburgers. We got these nice stuffed burgers and no, it's not beef and it's not even deer. We've had those, lamb burgers, pork burgers. No, these are emu burgers. So think of like the giant ostrich in Africa. Well, this is emu, it's the giant bird. This is emu meat. It's from uh, Australia, right? Well, emus are from Australia. Um, ostriches are from Africa. And so these, these emu burgers, 100% emu meat. I did stuff them with some cheese and bacon and some burger and starter, uh, burger starter and topper, smoke and fire. It's just like a, a burger starter. You mix it with the burger meat, adds a lot of flavor. So I'm a little bit nervous to try emu burgers, um, but we're gonna give them a try and let you know how it goes. We also have some emu steaks defrosting and we're gonna try those tomorrow. How we ended up with the emu meat is, you wanna tell the story? Well, we, uh, long story short, we got um, emus from the sale. We were only going to get a couple, but they had a deal, so we got more than we needed. And so we were trying to sell some, and uh, it ended up <laughs> Jurassic Park Homestead Edition. Emus are not, they don't like to be caught, do they? <laughs> no. They do and, fine as long as you feed them and take care of their needs, but as soon as you try to chase them around to get them into a little trailer. I mean, we have them in like, what, seven foot fence? And I, I pet them every day when I feed them. And I don't have any problems with them, but when you're trying to catch them, they went berserk. One of them ended up like flipping over the seven foot fence and getting out, and it was just crazy. So long story short, we ended up having the guy take one to the processor, and then we ended up, David um, terminated another one mm -hmm. and took it to the processor. So we are, we got a whole bunch of them in the back. Yeah, and it's sizzling right. I've got it in my, this is my homemade pastured pork lard that I made from our hogs from last year. It looks like coconut oil, really nice and white. And it doesn't smell at all. It's really, really mild. So it's, it's good. Why are they so dark? Emu meat is like, it's red meat. So emu and ostrich are super similar. Is this similar. on? Oh, I didn't even turn that on, sorry. Emu and ostrich are super similar, like meats and taste profiles from what I've read. And so emu meat is naturally like really dark. It's like a red meat. Yeah. And so some people even eat it as like a red meat alternative. If they can't have beef for some reason, um, they'll look into getting emu to kind of get the red meat fix. All right, well, we will let y'all know when these are done. Yeah. All right, everybody, ready to try your burgers? Emu burgers. Emu burgers. Are you pick it up, ready? Let's check, check on the count of three. Ready? Take a bite. One, Emu cheeseburgers. Two, three. Oh, emu cheeseburger digging, mm. yum. Okay. It kind of reminds me of venison. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Emu Try cheeseburger, yum. Try it. Emu burger, yum. What do you think? It's super good. It's not like chicken at all. I dig it. What does it taste like? Mm. It's really like a soft deer meat almost, but it's not gamey. Not gamey, super tender. I mean, we did stuff it with like burger topper and starter and onions and But it's, like a, it's really mild. I was thinking it would be like a stronger, like kind of like, I don't know, like lamb or I don't know. I think it's pretty, Pretty mild. What do you think, mm -hmm. Jubilee? It's so good. You love it? Mm -hmm. Would you eat this again? Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Gabriel? What are you eating? I am. Pickles? We made those pickles. Oh, yummy. What do you think? Well, they're tasty. They're tasty? <laughs> good. Mm -hmm. Yum, I dig it. That. It's pretty good. Yay, that's a do-over? Yep. Yay, awesome. Emu burgers. Mm-hmm.